y'all, we're going to go ahead and make grandmom's ham loaf. So what I have is, I have two pounds of ground ham that's in my bowl here. You can use fresh ham slices and grind it up. You can use the cubes from the store. You can get a big piece of lunch meat and grind it up. Whatever works for you will work just fine. The next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of salt and pepper to our ham. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. And then what we're going to need is four slices of bread that we've chopped up into little cubes. And we are going to throw that in there. Then we're going to need two beaten eggs, which I have here. I'm going to add in a pound of sausage, and this is just the store sausage that they made up. So we're going to throw that in here. You're going to need one pound of that. And then we're going to need a quarter cup of milk. And now we're going to mix this all together. All right, y'all. So once you got that all mixed up, you want a baking dish, and you want to go ahead and spray it good. And we're going to make this into a loaf inside of our baking dish. All right, y'all. So I just went ahead and just smushed it down in my casserole dish. You can make it into a loaf. You can do whatever you like to do. We are going to put some foil on this, and we are going to cook this at 350 degrees for an hour. And then we're going to come back, and we're going to make a glaze that we're going to put on and then we are going to top it with the glaze after our hour and put it back in the oven. I also have family cookbooks available for purchase. I'll put the link above and below in the comments and it tells you all the ways you can order that. So put some foil on this. We're going to pop this in the oven for an hour. Then we're going to come back. We're going to put a glaze on it. And then we are going to cook it for an additional 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so we will be back here in an hour. All right, y'all. So we're going to make the glaze. I have a half a cup of crushed pineapple that I've drained. You want a half a cup of brown sugar. You want one tablespoon of mustard. And I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball that. And then we want one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can just use regular. So let's go ahead. Put that in there. Now we're going to mix this up. And this is what we're going to put on the top of our ham loaf. And then we are going to pop it back in the oven for 20 to 30 more minutes um, with the foil off. So going to get this all stirred around. All right, y'all, so we got this. We're going to put this to the side, and we're going to pull out our ham loaf, and we're going to put this on top and get it back in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and take that foil off of there. And now we are going to put the glaze on top. And we're going to pop it back in the oven uncovered for 20 to 30 more minutes. Okay, so let's spread that all around. All right. So back in the oven for 20 to 30 more minutes. All right, y'all, so it just came out of the oven. It's been in there for 30 more minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and slice a piece so you can see what it looks like here in the middle. All right, y'all, so we went ahead and cut that, and that's what it looks like. Most of the liquid sopped up. Super easy, super delicious. Give this a try. If anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. Our cookbook link will be above and below. Great for Christmas gifts. So give this a try and I hope everybody has a wonderful day.